Hey what's up guys welcome back in this section we will create a first augmented reality project called the AR1 so in this section we will first import the Vuforia license key and the image target databases inside unity next we will project a 3d model on top of image targets after this we will install the android studio software and import the android sdk inside unity at the end we will build the ar1 application and we will run it inside an android smartphone or an iphone so for creating the ar1 project i'll click on file i'll then click on new project i'll give this project a name of ar1 and as you can see this is the location where the ar1 project is stored inside my system that is c users dinesh augmented reality okay the ar1 project will be a 3d project so i'll click on the create project button to create this project after creating this ar1 project i'll save my scene so as you can see currently the name of the scene is untitled which means the scene is unsaved okay so i'll click on file i'll then click on save scene as and as you can see we have been redirected to the assets folder which is inside the ar1 project folder so inside the assets folder i'll create a new folder i'll give this folder a name of data files i'll open the data files folder inside the data files folder i'll create another folder i'll name it scenes i'll open the scenes folder and inside the scenes folder i'll save the scene and i'll give this scene a name of ar1 scene after this i'll hit save so as you can see the scene is saved by the name of ar1 scene and it is inside the scenes folder now after saving the scene next i will activate the vuforia augmented reality support checkbox so for activating the vuforia augmented reality support checkbox i'll first click on file i'll then click on build settings i'll then change the platform from pc mac and linux stand alone to android so with the android platform selected i'll click on switch platform so as you can see the platform is switched to android after this i'll click on player settings so as you can see the player settings is opened inside the inspector panel and if i scroll down then as you can see we have this option of xr settings so i'll click on it and next i'll check this vuforia augmented reality support checkbox after selecting the vuforia augmented reality checkbox next i'll delete the main camera as we cannot use the main camera for augmented reality next i will add the ar camera so i'll click on game objects i'll then go in vuforia and i'll select the ar camera component and now as you can see we are getting this message to import some vuforia assets so guys in order to use any of the vuforia component we need to import the vuforia assets first so i'll click on the import button to import the vuforia assets so guys as you can see inside the assets folder we now have four new folders called as editor resources streaming assets and vuforia okay and these folders basically contains the vuforia asset and you can also see that inside the hierarchy we now have this new component called the ar camera okay so this ar camera component will basically activate the webcam which is attached to my laptop now after adding the ar camera next we need to provide a license key to this ar camera now before providing the license key we first need to create the license key so for creating the license key i'll first open my browser after this i'll type vuforia.com as for generating the license key you should have the vuforia's developer account now inside vuforia.com i will click on the dev portal button so after clicking on the dev portal as you can see we have this option of login and register so guys for using the vuforia service you first need to register or you first need to create an account so i'll click on the register button and for creating your vuforia account you first need to fill in this small form and after filling this form you need to click on this create account button once you click on the create account button vuforia will send you a confirmation email on your desired email id and once your vuforia account is created 
you need to sign in with your account. Now, since I already have a view for your account, I'll click on the login button and I will sign in inside my view for your account. Now guys, before clicking on the login button, let me share one more thing. If your email ID contains a dot, then while signing in, you may get this error of email ID not recognized. So if you're getting this error of email ID not recognized, then while signing in, please do not put a dot which may be present inside your email ID. Okay. So after entering my email ID and password, I'll click on the login button. So as you can see, I'm inside the Vuforia's developer account and inside this license manager option, I'll click on get development key button. I'll give this app a name of AR1. Okay. And as you can see below this license key, we have this option of price, which is set to no charge. So since this license key, which we are creating is of the development type. Okay. So that's why we won't be charged anything for this license key. And below the price, we have the Reco usage cloud target, VU mark templates and VU marks option. You do not need to worry about this four option, at least for the first AR application. I will explain you the meaning of these four parameters once we complete our first application. Because for understanding these parameters, you should first understand how Vuforia stores and detects image targets. So after giving a app a name of AR1, I'll click on this checkbox and after this, I'll click on the confirm button. And as you can see, the AR1 app is created. Okay, so I'll click on it. And as you can see, this is the license key which I was talking about. So I'll copy this license key and I'll paste it inside the AR camera. So with the AR camera selected, I'll click on the open view for your configurations option. And inside the view for your configuration, as you can see, we have this option of app license key. So I'll basically paste my license key over here. Okay. So guys, after adding the license key next, I'll click on the play button. And as you can see, when I clicked on the play button, the AR camera has by default activated the webcam, which is attached to my laptop. So I'll come out of play mode and inside the view for your configurations. If I scroll down, then as you can see, this is the name of the webcam, which I'm using that is C922 ProStream webcam. So guys, that's it from this video and I'll see you in the next video.